you need to list what it is, especially if you're telling me that you want $1,100 for it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take a shot at it. You're obviously running an AMD CPU. You guys remember this dude? Yeah, he messaged me. Okay, so this person saw me make this video. I mean, I did share it on Facebook after all. Well, anyway, this person reached out to me and basically told me that no, it came cracked like that out of the box and that he does list and tell you what it is and he knows what he's doing and basically he just kind of told me off in a slightly polite, odd way. And then he went on to tell me that he liked one of the builds that I did and stuff. Um, I do have the dude's name blocked this time around so that way nobody can IM him or ask him anything or mess with him. But um, I just wanted to uh, show you all this and remember. I was like, yeah, y'all remember this guy? <laughs> so, yeah. That just wanted to tell y'all about that real quick. Um, videos these days have to be over eight minutes to get monetized. So sometimes I'm forced to string along things. And this is one of them. Oh yeah, monetization. So monetization is actually starting to work out for me so far. We've made about 20 bucks in the last week for it. Um, although everything now, instead of going into notification, goes into my studio hub. And that's where I monitor all of the comments, all the subscriptions, revenue, what videos are doing good, what videos aren't doing good. It's a learning experience, but it's also a lot of fun too. And um, I plan on making a video here soon talking about the, the channel and the monetization and the ads and how I'm going to get paid and how much I make so far. And of course, you know, as the number gets bigger, the more and more money you make. Um, views is great. I'm no longer going to do the Delta THC vape things. That doesn't pay out anymore. Um, we're going to go back to doing computers and stuff. So that's about all I got to say on that right now. Oh my people, how's everybody doing today? So before we get started on the video, I have to show you this. This is an Intel Nook Mini, all right? It's a small little compact computer that has all kinds of neat little things with it. Two USB 3 optical, HDMI, VGA, J45 jack for internet takes SD cards right here it has a USB 3 on the front and it has a headphone plugged in and then you got a little power button in it um, these things can run you from 200 all the way up to a thousand just depending on what type of CPU and what type of hard drive and etc and that's kind of stuff so this one is on the lower end of the spectrum it has an i3 5100U or something like that. It has 8 gigs of 8 gigs? I think it has 8 gigs of DDR3. Dual channel 8 gigs of DDR3. Um, integrated graphics. Really, the reason why I brought this or even have it is for when I go on vacation and I go to other hotels and stuff. I don't want to carry around a huge computer or even a small computer uh, I just want something simple like this something that I can hook a keyboard and mouse to and upload my videos and edit off of and it does quite well I mean it's it's powerful than most desktop computers out there right now which is ridiculous uh, let's see here um, this model number I know it comes in a couple of different variances uh, like four or five different variances even the uh, the model number if you type that one up you'll get four or five different types uh, Intel Nook all the badges and safety things on it it does hold an SSD or I can put an M.2 drive in it and do it that way um, it comes with 250 gigs of storage on a standard 3D NAND um, SSD which is a nice little feature there uh, I never use the VGA I always use the HDMI you can actually buy these used on Amazon um, for 
you know, like I said, a few hundred bucks. But I highly recommend having one. This one's pretty cool because when you hit the power button, this whole square lights up red and that goes blue and stuff. So it has a little bit of RGB. The top piece does not, and that just pops off. It's plastic. The best way to get into it is to take those four screws off right there and then pull it out. You can buy a plate. The plate mounts to the back of your monitor and then these and it slides into the back of the plate on the back of the monitor and it just sits on the back of the monitor which is exactly what I, how I have it so that way all I really have to carry is that monitor and the monitor has the computer just stacked right on the back of it I mean it's a great thing you can buy the i7 version um, and pretty much game on it do whatever you want with it it's really cool so but anyway I just wanted to show you guys and talk a little bit about it it's the Intel Nook Mini pretty cool right make sure to check it out I'll leave a link in the description below if I can find it but anyway on to our video what's going on guys welcome back so I have a couple of intros um, I'm gonna play them for you guys choice one two three four and then you know we got the original intro let me know which intro you like um, some of them are kind of the same, some of them are kind of different, different music in all of them. Um, if you don't like any of them, let me know that you don't like any of them. Uh, just kind of playing around with it. I'm trying to find a new intro, but then again, I, I do like my original one. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for continuing to watch my channel. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.